I'm Monty Beetham. Welcome to Vodafone One Tribe TV, the story of the Vodafone Warriors. Tonight, we catch up with Bryn Tate and we see how his rehab is progressing. Marty, I can't reach the chips. In our Code vs Code Challenge, it's a battle of rugby versus league. The Blues put forward two of their finest, Zaya Tuiava and Rudy Wolf, to take on Big Manavatava and Denon Kemp in the challenge of pinpoint accuracy. When I first heard about shooting, it was, I was kind of excited until I came here and I was, uh, well, the nerves kicked in, so... And stick around for our tip of the week. Get the foot as close as you can to the ball, other foot pointing out, facing towards where you want to pass to. Be one tribe here for Brent, right? Yeah. Come on through. Yeah. Oh, the poor thing, he's been stuck on the lounge for so long. Yeah. He's just down there. Yeah, I met Lani in high school and we got married a couple of years ago. It's just a, you know, a, a very exciting time for her and I to, uh, to be together for so long and now have this uh, next phase of our life with, with having a baby and, um, you know, she's probably not showing me as much attention as I'd like these days. But, uh, you know, it's all good, it's all good fun. Oh, I thought you guys were my wife. Well, thanks for coming over, guys. Uh, since I've been in injured, this is all I've been able to do. I haven't been able to get off the couch. Uh, it's just so painful. Uh, yeah. Lani, need some more chips. I'm out of chips. Oh, sorry, it's just so sore. I can't even move. Yeah, it's very frustrating. I, I miss hanging out with my mates. I miss training. Um, you know, I'm really missing playing with them. Uh, just running out in that field, I, I just really miss it. Lani, I can't reach the chips. Anyway, uh, my rehab's going really well. Uh, you know, I'll be back next year, uh, hopefully bigger and better than ever. And um, I'm just looking forward to, uh, to running out in the Warriors colours again. Lani, it's cold. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how long I can do this for. It's been a few weeks now and... You know, it's not much fun sitting on the couch, you know, getting waited on. Bonnie! Bonnie! Sorry, Dal. You're right. Oh, my leg's killing. I'm oh, sorry. Thing. Love my lawn, but uh, since I've had my knee reconstruction, I haven't been able to, um, I guess, show it the, uh, the attention that it needs. Growing up, I had two older sisters, and obviously uh, Joe Price's wife. She was probably the quietest of the three of us, but she was very cunning. It was, a, I guess, it was a bit tough. They used to tease me and beat me up and that sort of thing. I mean, it was great now. We're probably, uh, you know, the best of friends. But when we were younger, probably uh, just real enemies. I used to, like I said, I've just copped so much uh, teasing over the years from them, and um, they even pulled out um, my first pub that I got. So uh, thanks, Joe. Steve was always chasing Joe, and uh, Joe used to give him a bit of a fend off uh, there for a couple of years, but he uh, finally uh, courted her, and uh, you know, Steve's been a, a huge part of, of our family's life, I guess. Um, you know, we've sort of grown up with Steve, and he's always been there, and you know, Price and I have always been great mates. People tell me that I have a, a real obsession with my lawn. I give it a bit of a trim every now and then, but um, I've got no idea where they get that idea from. The boys in the team are always uh, teasing me about how I fold my, fold my clothes up in my bag and you know how I'm always wiping stuff down at home, but it's funny because my wife always complains about you know, the jobs that I do around the place. So yeah, Having an eight month old baby, it's, uh, it's constant wiping and constant cleaning, and, um, but I guess the positive to come out of that is, is that you know, for the next eight months I'm going to be, uh, be at home with, uh, with Lani and, and Kaiden. I sometimes think Lani thinks that uh, having me at home for most of the time, it's like having two babies full time. Lani's always at me about not cleaning things. I don't know what she's on about. Hey, Lani, what are you doing? I just cleaned it. I know, 
I like to think I'm a bit of a neat freak. Um, I like to keep things nice and tidy and sorted. Obviously, having an eight-month-old son, it's quite difficult. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every sort of male, I think everyone really would like a son. And um, I just remember, you know, when I first saw him, and you know, they, the nurse lifted him up, and you know, he just saw saw that he was a, a boy. And uh, the first thing I said to my wife is, "Oh, it's a son." And, uh, you know, it was just such an awesome moment. You know, I just really wanted a healthy baby and I was very thankful that we got a healthy baby. But uh, I guess when I found out I got a son and, you know, I'll be able to kick the footy and, and do all those things that, that guys do, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a pretty awesome moment. Well, this is my son, Kaiden. Uh, people have always told me what a great experience it is to have children. And now that I've got a son of my own, um, I can tell you it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm not going to force him into anything, but um, you know I've got a foot in his hand already, so uh, we'll see how he goes. Got him. Surgery went really well. Uh, doctor was really happy with it. So uh, come 2010, I'll be back, and uh, you know I'll have a few more seasons left yet, uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to you know coming back and being bigger and better than ever. He's going to be good. Uh, to run out with the Warriors for the first time was uh, it was a great experience. I, I'd spoken to Pricey, um, you know, leading up to that first home game, and he told me that you know, 10 or 15,000 Warriors fans is like 30,000 fans at Suncorp, and uh, you know, he was uh, right on the money. I remember running out of that tunnel and just thinking, you know, how passionate these these fans are about you know their rugby league team. Tady, he's uh, you know really nice guy. He's a pretty experienced footy player and um, someone you definitely want on your side uh, out on the field. From a young age, he uh, he always wanted to be a rugby league player. You know he's done very very well. He's he's had some challenges, but um, he's overcome all of those and just goes to show the the spirit of the guy. Oh no, he's just walked past. He's pretty feisty. He's pretty uh, competitive. Um, but if he's on your team, that's, that's, that's good, because he inspires you a bit. He's a real idiot. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> There's really nothing wrong with his knee. He's just faking it. Yeah, with the injury, it happened against uh, Brisbane in round three. I, I uh, felt a real pop in my knee and realised um, pretty much well straight away that I'd, uh, I'd done my cruise shit again. And, you know, it is disappointing, but I guess there's plenty of positives in it. I get to spend time at home with my son. I'm, I guess, confident that I can, you know, put the work in again and, and come back and be playing football in 2010. In the future, I see myself continuing to play rugby league at the highest level. It's been an awesome experience and a highlight of my career, being able to come over here and play at the Warriors. And hopefully in the future, I'll be able to continue to do that. Uh, as I said, it's, it's been a, a great experience uh, here in New Zealand, experiencing all different cultures and uh, hanging out with my mates at the Warriors. And from On a separate note, I've spent 12 wonderful years with Lani. She's put up with a hell of a lot from me. Uh, being a footballer's wife, it's not, not always easy. Um, but, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic and I like to keep surprising her and doing really nice things for her. Um, so, you know, behind, her, behind every good man is a good woman and believe me, if she's not happy, no one's happy. Lani, I'm ready for my bath. Can you help me take off my clothes? This thing can go where the sun don't shine. We're looking for a passionate footy fan to be the next Vodafone One Tribe TV presenter and accompany the team on their trip to Queensland in July. So send us your audition piece to be in to win the trip of a lifetime. The best audition will also take home a Samsung 46 inch high definition LCD screen and home entertainment centre. Simply visit VodafoneOneTribe.co.nz, click on the audition tab, follow the instructions and you could see yourself on Vodafone One Tribe TV. Let's go check out some of those auditionees now. Hey guys, I'm here auditioning to become the uh, official Vodafone Warriors roving reporter. I'd love to experience going to Australia with the team and have a lot of fun with that. And now talking to the man of the hour, Steve Pies. How's it going, mate? 
Yeah, a bit nerves today, but I'm sure with the back of the supporters and as well as uh, the fans, we're doing great today. Cheers, well, how's your lovely wife, Jo? Oh, she's fine at the moment. Um, she should be up there supporting me. The kids are doing well. Um, hopefully she'll put on a good roast. Steve's my favourite player because he's the team captain. He's a great role model. He's awesome. Apparently I've just heard, uh, hang on a second, let me just uh, cross through to the live, hang on. I've just heard that Steve Price, yeah, he's just giving me, he may be streaking later on and uh, that he will definitely be eating chicken tonight. I only have one question for you, Steve, because I am a family man just like you. I've, uh, I have four, I have three teenage daughters. My question is, do you have any single nephews? <laughs> 